girl Young Africana back at it again with another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how I achieved this yellow watercolor method type color um, alongside with these beautiful brown roots. But before we even get into the next segment, if you guys have not subscribed to me, go ahead and subscribe to me. If you guys are Africana OG, I want you guys to comment a yellow heart if you guys are feeling this look so far. And don't forget, subscribe, click that bell right next to my name in the subscribe button so you guys can get the drop before the drop even drop. You get me. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Alright you guys, so first things first, we're going to be watercoloring our hair. This hair is sponsored by West Kiss Hair. I have their 613 13 by 6 lace frontal wig in 14 inches so right now what i'm doing is i'm using my kiss temptations color in the color funky yellow and i'm only using one bottle of that and pouring that into my um, bucket of water the water is about lukewarm and i'm just going to go ahead and dip the hair inside i have my knots protected with my um, liquid gold but for some reason the um, knots still kind of like turned yellow and I think I know why um, so like the liquid gold it removes the water so once the water touches of course it would so go ahead and just use Goss to be free spray and um, Goss to be gel with that to protect your knots but now I went ahead and rinsed out the hair with cool water and now I'm going into my Kiss Temptations dye in the color honey brown and then we're gonna go ahead and do some rootage so right now what I'm doing is I'm working in sections and um, I'm using my baby hair comb this is like the best method if you want your hair to look very hair like and not try to get any color onto the lace this is the best method don't use a brush go ahead and use either a comb or a baby hair comb and I'm just taking small sections I'm gonna go ahead and just apply that as the root and um, then you know apply apply it upwards as well um, just so that the color is saturated and you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about but overall I'm just doing this all around the um, frontal area of the wig and you guys take your time you don't want to penetrate any color into the lace and I already have the first side done, I'm, then I'm going to go ahead and go into the second side. So after I'm done with this, I let this sit for about three hours and then I went ahead and rinsed it out with cold water and I flat ironed and blow dried the hair and this is the results that you will get once you follow um, my routine. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going ahead and I'm going to part my part. We're doing an asymmetrical bob today, y'all. It's looking very fetch. So I'm just parting my part and then I'm using my Care Care Wax Stick just to prep that part. Because as you guys can see, um, the hair is just kind of all over the place because it was originally parted in the middle. So we're just going to go ahead and use our Care Care Wax Stick and then use my Andis hot comb on um, medium heat and I'm gonna go ahead and press down that hair you want to make sure that you're always using medium heat whether if it's flat ironing or using a hot comb when you're doing colored hair because you do not want to risk losing your um, color and now onto the cutting I'm using a razor comb just to give my hair some layers this will overall just make the cutting process very easy and um, not have that blunt and choppy kind of look and you guys are going to see what I'm talking about this overall just thins the hair out so it's easier for you to cut and you do not miss any hairs because when the hair is very thick and you're cutting you end up missing a whole bunch of hair so I'm doing that all over the hair and with my asymmetrical bob, one side will be longer than the other. And then I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side and kind of go in a downwards motion. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're not cut cutting or layering too high up. You want to make sure that you're layering about where you want to actually cut the hair. 
And this part is just pretty repetitive for you guys. Now that that's done, I'm going into my clippers. This is the Whale brand. I'm not sure exactly which one this is, but um, now I'm going to go ahead and start doing our blunt cut. I want this cut to be very blunt. So that was the whole point of the whole um, razoring is to just help it um, help you cut like more precisely. And then I'm just cutting in a slantward motion to where I want the longer side to be at. Now that we are done with our blunt cut, we're gonna go ahead and bump our ends. And I'm using my um, Infinity Pro Titanium Flat Iron. You can get this from Ulta. I believe it's actually only available in Ulta. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bump my ends just a little bit. We don't want them too bumped. I still want to show the, um, the blunt cut overall. So you're just gonna slightly bump the ends. All right, you guys, now on to the lace, onto the install. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out some slits and I'm gonna go ahead and work in sections with this. Today, I'm actually gonna try um, installing this hair with makeup on. I've seen people do it and I feel like it looks a little bit neater, especially when you're not doing the whole baby hair install. And I don't keep my wigs on regardless um, for, for that long anyway. So it doesn't mind, I, I don't mind. I'd rather just do this and yeah, like you know. So now I'm over here using my razor comb and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out um, that middle part lace. And now I'll be going into my Erica J Watermelon Hold Me Down Adhesive. And I'm using two layers and I'm using my rat tail comb just to smooth out those um, the glue. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use my comb just to um, press that lace down into the glue. And now whatever I missed, I'm just gonna go back in with that glue and then I'm just gonna go ahead and, um, you know, just fill in those spots where I've missed. And this is pretty repetitive. I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the middle part and then also one of my sides. Now I'll be using my Gossipy Free Spray and I'm going to go ahead and spray around my hairline just to help further the melt. Then I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hairline on medium heat and then I'm going to go in with my elastic band and let that sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. And as you guys can see, it clearly left a dent, but it's melted. And now I'm just going to go ahead and use a lighter concealer just to um, define my part because my part is yellow and I didn't want it to be yellow anymore.
Then I went ahead and used some spritz on my hairline and I'm going to go ahead and use my hot comb on medium heat just to press that down so we have a nice and neat looking hairline. As I can see, I was over here feeling the music. <laughs> but after this, I went ahead and buffed my um, hair again off camera. And these are pretty much the finished results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you have not. If you have not, what are you doing, you guys? Get it together. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next segment. Deuces!